right, today we are finally arranging our living room that has been the problem child, at least for me. I don't think you really, you were fine with it. Ish. I was not fine with it. It was a huge embarrassment to me, and it's just time to make it better and functional and work for our family, but also just really pretty. And so we're gonna mix and match and see if we can get to a a formula, like a, a, a situation that like feels really, really good to the, all of us. That seems like a fair request. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> we could start with the most like easy to get your head around formulaic living room, which is two matching sofas and two matching chairs. Okay. have to just like be really zen about what we're doing today. This is what happens when you marry a designer. This is what happens when you get to marry a designer. Okay, so now two chairs? Two, the two matching swivel chairs. And then we should bring in the coffee table. Um, I think the symmetry of it all makes me feel like I'm in a hotel lobby, which isn't a bad thing. You understand that you agreed to the two matching sofas. No, 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 I know. I'm saying maybe this. Yeah, I, I hear you. Okay, let's try and work with the sofas and put this sofa here, that sofa there, and then two more eclectic chairs here in hopes of it being just as comfortable, but maybe just a little bit more interesting. I think configuration works if this is one long sofa, and I think it's, and, and lower. This is pretty high to be here, right? Well, let's just, let's get another chair. What's our other favorite chair? You get to choose the chair this time. I will say that that nubby chair looks really good with these sofas. So this doesn't work. This doesn't work. So. So I think we have to move a sofa and bring in the leather sofa. Okay, so the the pros of this are so much seating. So much seating. So many so many friends over. I actually think that something like this can work in a hotel, but it's just, it's too, too many sofas. It's this three, it's three sofas. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so, but it seems like if these are gonna face each other, it should be the leather one there because we have the brown island behind it. Okay, so, so let's try that. Let's turn the coffee table back. It's just a different vibe. It's just more eclectic, more interesting. Whew, these have been sitting in the sun, now they're warm. So let's try two chairs. This looks good. Okay, so could we put the chaise here, but then do you feel like you don't get a chair? Yes. <laughs> the, this and like that's so much higher than this. Yeah, let's try my chair. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I bought that chair, you know. I know. I think I have a problem. It's like, oh, two chairs next to each other that don't match. It's like one thing if like one is like here with an ottoman over there. So what if we got two of these? You can't, they're vintage. Uh, but I would totally do that if we could. I just wanna clarify here. I love the sofa very much. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna work somewhere else. I fear 
that the two green sofas are a better a better vibe. Like you walk in and your eye is so clear that like we have symmetry. I think I'm really obsessed with symmetry. I, it, this happened late in life. I, know. You, I mean, you literally <laughs> you used to be a cult, like a hoarder. I know. Okay, so we're back to where we started with the two sofas. But now yeah. we have these. I like this a lot better than the swivel chairs. Okay. So I, I I don't know why I don't respond to that charcoal. I mean, I like that charcoal velvet. I, I bought that chair. But I do think if we did it in a cream nubby, picks up the white in the rug and just gives a little bit of lightness, yeah. just lifts the room a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your help. Thank you for designing it. I'm gonna wave goodbye to, the, to the, our friends. Goodbye, friends. Hey, friends. Follow and like. Don't forget to press follow and like. Smash that like button. <laughs>